Hey guys, it's Simply Erica once again coming to you guys with another wig review. So if you're interested about this cute unit that I have on my head, stay tuned and check out for more. Today I have for you guys the lovely Free Trust Equal Bubble Wand Lace Front Wig in the color number 2. This wig was actually sent to me by the Shake and Go Hair Company. Uh, I will leave you guys a link for the, uh, you all to buy down below. She's running for about $35, $37, so very reasonable price. So I will leave a link for you guys to buy it down below. So I've heard various things about this unit. I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. You know, I've heard the part is weird. I've heard it just doesn't look right at all. I heard so many mixed reviews, so I thought I'd just give my straight up opinion, the pros and cons about this unit. Overall, I will say the look of it is very beautiful. I think these remind me of like a perm rod set type of style. You know, once you put your hair in rods and you take them out, this is what it looks like. Maybe also like a twist style for girls with longer natural hair. This also looks like that style. Now, as far as the texture of this wig, you're going to get, uh, it feels like Kanakalon expression braiding hair. Um, you are able to put heat on it but on a very very low setting or else the hair will fry so keep that in mind as far as the uh, parting space goes okay this parting space y'all look at that about one and a half inches I'll say that and when you get it out the package it's gonna be very tight so I will say there's a pro like a con about this wig that it doesn't really stand out well you, it takes a lot of work to, you know to get that realistic party space so be prepared to put in the work to make it doable the length of this wig it comes to about shoulder length and you are able to take these curls apart to make the wig more full but you know I kind of like the simple look of another kind about this wig it can get frizzy I noticed that out due to the texture of this wig it probably will get frizzy uh, especially if you take apart these curls, it's going to get bigger and, you know, just frizzy. So keep that in mind and be cautious. Don't even bother brushing this wig because you will create a catastrophe. So just leave it as is and just, if you want to take the curls apart, just do that. Don't brush it. You're going to get four combs. Yes, four combs. Two near the part and one on the side and one in the back with adjustable straps. So you don't have to worry about this falling off. It's very secured with the amount of combs that it has. I also do not think personally that this wig is big head friendly. It is very snug on me so and I didn't even adjust straps or I just tucked the combs in and it's pretty snug. So for my girls with bigger heads I'm sorry I don't think this might be the wig for you but you know, if you still want to try it, go ahead. When I took the wig out of the package, I kind of noticed that it had short filler hairs. So let's take a look at that. I don't know if you guys see that. It has very short filler hairs. And I kind of think that's weird. But at the same time, because the wig is so big, you know, you're not going to see that. But I'm going to let you guys know that up front because it's my job. I have not experienced any tangling or, sh well, I have experienced some shedding by like finger, like running my fingers through the wig. So I will say it probably will shed a little bit, but tangling, I think it probably might tangle over time be just because of the texture of the wig and the summertime heat and it's just gonna mesh up and it's pretty long so you know I would just be prepared for that so in conclusion I overall think this is a beautiful style Definitely a style for women who are natural and are looking for a natural, you know, wig just to pass time. I also feel like this unit is for uh, girls who want to try the Cubana twist out style and you guys don't want to pay the hair or pay for somebody to install the crochet uh, twist outs in your hair or crochet braids. Um, 
this is also an affordable wig for you guys to get. So, I also think that this wig has a few things that it needs to work on. This parting space, maybe no short filler hairs, but it wasn't that bad because it covers it up. But overall, I think the unit is beautiful. I would rate this probably an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. Thank you ladies for watching my review. Be sure to purchase this wig in the link down below. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. <laughs> Gotta change my answering machine Now that I'm alone Cause right now it's